What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Let's get into this situation. Let's talk about the versus battle between Keisha Cole and Ashanti. It is going down. People are calling foul on Keisha Cole. They are calling her out. They're calling her out on her attitude. They said she was nasty. She was rude. She was trying to take over. They're accusing her of being intoxicated and also smoking a little ganja. Smoking a little good, good. Like, damn. Like, she can't smoke. She can't can't drink like Snoop Dogg did, DMX did. All the guys that did the versus battle, they was drinking. They smoked too as well, but they didn't have a bad attitude. So I guess that's the difference. But don't be calling that out like it was wrong for her to drink and for her to smoke during a versus battle when she's home and she's chilling, listening to music and she's vibing. And she's also with her fans and she's also with you know her counterparts and the people that she works with in the industry you know her attitude was stank it was for show for show but don't don't try to call it out like it's a bad thing because you know she was drinking and smoking it's like the men can do it but the women can't what's going on i guess it's just the way you carry it. if you're gonna get intoxicated you're gonna get you're gonna feel a little high make sure your attitude is cool calm collective and people can't call you out on it because that's what happened to keisha and also bow wheezy calling out keisha cole saying she was never this late when i'll call her over so bow is basically dropping down in the comment section of the versus battle and basically trying to throw a dagger at keisha cole his ex as you guys know bow wheezy is coming out with a album aka shad moth about his exes and what they did intimate how they broke up and all types of details so i guess he want to get the party started early and poke at keisha cole mm -mm -mm. so you guys let me know what you think i was like damn it seems like Ba was saying that keisha cole was early she was in attendance she was bright eyed and she was present when Ba would call her up i was like lord he doing too much as usual but as we know keisha cole was hella late when i say hella late she was hella late and also ashanti was hella late too they were very disrespectful when it came to the time and then having keisha cole keep and taking breaks and getting up moving around she was very fidgety she was just doing too much she was uncomfortable in the situation mm, mm, mm. and we know it's not like a battle battle but if you gonna see any of your top hits make sure you sound better than you know the record make sure you sound good and that's what went wrong with keisha cole when she was home when she was seeing her hits it was off killed. It was off key. It didn't sound right. It sounded like something was wrong with her voice. It's, it didn't sound like Keisha. Keisha, like, you know, it seemed like she was struggling. That it was hard. It was difficult. And she was running from the mic. But when it came to Ashanti, she was all in the mic. The mic was her best friend. But let's get back to Keisha Cole, young sister. Elite calling out Keisha Cole. Saying, Keisha Cole, I rock with you. But you sitting over there with OT Genesis? You know, he... He talked about our mama he talked about you and like how could you be chilling and hanging with him and bring him on the versus battle with you in front of millions of people Keisha Cole, sister Elite, is feeling a certain type of way, and she's calling out her sister. Is she doing too much? Is she clout chasing? Or does she have a right to call out her sister in front of a national audience? Is she calling out her sister, Keisha Cole, for chilling with OT Genesis because she don't want the world to think that she has forgiven OT Genesis and she is cool with him? I guess she just wants the record to be set straight that she ain't cool with OT. And her sister may be, but she ain't. I was like, damn, what happened to sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt. But it don't seem like that because Keisha Cole's sister is calling out. She have called Keisha Cole. Is she clout chasing? You guys tell me what you think about this situation. I was like, Lord, have mercy. It is going down. Let mm -hmm. me just tell y'all where it went left for me. Because you know I'm a Keisha to the day I die. But when you let her hug you, that guy on the internet joking about selling your mama mother crap, that's when I got to take a step back. That's a no-go for me. You can't touch me. You can't breathe on me. You can't. I don't give a f about what none of y'all got to say. Don't touch me if you brag about or 
laugh about selling my mama the birth this. The reason why y'all got Keisha is because Frankie didn't give up. Let's be clear about this. Frankie got seven mother children. Okay. She ain't got one. Because I think you stupid. Mm-mm-mm. You see how that went down. So sister is calling out sister. So Miss Elite is calling out her sister. I was like, damn, she is feeling a certain type of way. She is upset about this situation. She ain't playing. Mm -mm -mm. You guys let me know what you think about this situation. I was like, mm. So you think the sister was wrong or what she know? You know? Somebody sold her mother something, but he didn't have to say it. But it is what it is. Let's get to the situation where Keisha Cole, DJ, you know, he comes out and basically he is defending Keisha Cole. Let's check this out. Of course, everybody know that. But then on Keisha's defense, I can truly say that she didn't want to come out because her screen was blurry. On her end, her screen was blurry. And she was like, you know, she was there on time. I was there. I seen everything. She was there. But she didn't want to come out on, you know, because the screen was blurry and Stuff wasn't right, you know. We couldn't hear they side. So there was a lot of technical stuff going on in there, you know. See, and this you is know? what I like because a lot um, of course everybody. So knows that. you have that yeah, situation. So I was just like, okay, so she was there and she was on time. She should have just got up and said, Hey, listen, I'm here. We're fixing my screen. She should have waved, you know, wrote a note or something to put it up to the screen to tell people that she's here, she's ready, she's prepared, but she is having some technical difficulties. And yes, she did have technical problems because when versus first went live for the battle at 8 o'clock for Keisha Cole and Ashanti. At 8 o'clock, the screen was so blurry. It, it looked terrible. It looked like it was something from the 70s or the 80s that Keisha Cole's screen looked like. It was horrific. They should have put a note in. They should have put a picture up or something and saying that we are going to be late. We're having technical issues. And there, people would have been more patient. They would have took that hour and 45 minutes and did something else. And did something else with their time while they were waiting. So, it is what it is with that situation. But Fat Joe got a lot of promotion. And let's get back to people talking about the attitudes that they didn't like. Because people were saying that Keisha Cole had a nasty attitude. That basically she was trying to take over the situation. She was trying to go first and go first again. And Ashanti had to correct her. And also Keisha Cole said, thank you guys for audience participation. I appreciate it. Because she was basically throwing a shot at Ashanti. Because Ashanti was looking at her phone. It seemed like Ashanti was kind of over the attitude and all the you know interruptions that Keisha Cole had going on. Keisha Cole was talking at the same time, telling her DJ, telling her sound people up, down, turn it up, turn it down. And she was talking while, you know, Ashanti was singing. So that was the issue too as well. Then Ashanti was acting like she was not paying attention to Keisha Cole's music at all. So that was another thing. You know, it's just like, you know, Ashanti was just like, I'm zoned. But Ashanti did hold the space for about 25 minutes and two Keisha Cole can actually get on screen so uh, Ashanti sat there for like 25 minutes and basically tried to entertain everybody she grabbed her phone because she wanted to read what the comments were saying and she was reading the comments so she already knew she stayed she stayed on point Ashanti was happy she was smiling she was nice she was singing her song like she's supposed to and the radio version or the, you know, record version did not sound better than Ashanti. When Ashanti sung her hit songs, the verses that were very important to battle Keisha Cole, she hit them notes perfectly. She sound like herself. It sounds like her voice has never changed. She had no difficulties with her voice. Her voice was on point. Everything was just on fire for her. She sound better than her records. And when you do that, when you're doing a live, you know, versus battle, you're going to win. And when Keisha Cole sung her prolific hits she sound off she sound she sound off kilter she didn't sound right the music was going in and out there was scratching going on you know with the you know mixing the record which was cool but the reason why it wasn't cool because Keisha Cole sound was not good you know her sound was off she was going in and out so she sound bad and when she did just you just heard her on the mic she didn't sound like her record 
and she didn't sound like the Keisha Cole that we know. It just sounded like her voice was struggling, and that was the situation. It sounded like it was so hard for her to just get it out and get into it, and it seemed like she was trying to do a lot of distractions to take away that, you know, her voice is not up to par when it comes to Ashanti. Sorry to say it, but it is the truth. And I'm neither Ashanti or Keisha Cole stand at all, point blank, period. But that's the situation. And also, you know, Keisha Cole said to us, to the fans, thank you guys so much, you know, for coming out three times. Two times we canceled and now you're here. And that was a shot at Ashanti. Keisha Cole also said, that, oh, I wish I had, you know, the yellow Doritos, you know, the cheesy Doritos so I can put some hot sauce on it. Because I believe Keisha Cole was saying that Ashanti is so cheesy. No, baby, she's just classy. And you didn't know how to hold it down. You didn't know how to hold your liquor, allegedly, or your weed, allegedly. You know, and it's nothing wrong with her smoking or drinking before her versus battle. She was at home. She was in her house. And also the guys, Snoop Dogg, DMX, and all the other guys, they were smoking and drinking. Why can't, why can't Keisha Cole? But your attitude had to be up to par too. You can't let the drinking and the smoking turn off, you know, you. And you being polite and doing business. You know, she should have just been chilling and she wasn't. And people are very disappointed in, you know, Miss Keisha Cole. And then also she had the nerve to take a break. Keisha Cole took a break too. And Ashanti took a break when they had just got started and they were both late as hell. But Keisha Cole was even later. Like, come on with the situation. And also, Keisha Cole wanted to move around. She wanted to dance. But when it when it when you want to talk about audience engagement and dancing and moving around and trying to get the crowd involved, a Keisha Cole's win on that point. She was dancing in a chair. She was doing everything. She was just trying to loosen up. She wanted she wanted a full stage. She wanted to be able to stand up. And I don't know why the ladies were restricted where they had to sit down in these gaudy chairs. You know what I mean? But anyways, everybody's saying these chairs are going to be at everybody's baby shower. <laughs> so you guys let me know what you think about the situation. And also, you know, Keisha was like, why you guys keep shouting out Chirac? You're sh shouting out Doritos? They ain't paying me. And Ashanti said, they are paying me. And I was like, damn, that's that's freaking shady. They Both of these ladies should have got paid. Uh, Keisha Cole should have got paid from Doritos and Ciroc. Like, why did only Ashanti get paid? Because she handled her business. And she made sure that she was going to be beneficial in all type of ways for her. And she also got paid for the candles that she was promoting next to her. And Keisha Cole only promoted her single. That This is what I'm talking about. Pitting sisters against each other. Paying one and not the other. That is not fair. So you guys, let me know what you think about the situation. I was just like, damn. I couldn't believe Ashanti won. I was shocked and surprised because I just knew Keisha was going to win because of her catalog. And Ashanti has a catalog too as well, even though they have a lot of features. But when you sing your hit song and you sound bad singing it, nobody wants to hear it. And when Ashanti sung her key songs of her catalog she sound better than the record so of course she was gonna win because it was just ah oh. so you guys let me know what you think about the situation i was just like lord have mercy mercy mm -mm -mm. the shade that keisha cole is receiving is just it's just bad it's real bad